guys. Here we are today with today's Daily Gem. It's Kathy Russell. And uh, I met Kathy in choir uh, class. She uh, plays the piano. And uh, she does a, a, she's a wonderful human being, does a lot of great things for the community, um, specifically in uh, the piano uh, teaching area. And uh, we're going to get to know Kathy a little bit more. So, hello, Kathy. Good morning. Hi. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, in your words, what do you uh, do specifically in the community yourself? Um, there's two uh, specific things musically that I do. I'm, uh, uh, I run a music studio here called The Painted Piano. It's uh, in Sun River and uh, uh, I teach uh, students of all different ages, I'm starting as young as six and uh, my oldest student is almost 80. So, wow. so um, um, all different ages, um, so that's kind of fun. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I uh, devote most of my time to is teaching piano and I love it and it's challenging and rewarding. Um, and then I also um, work with a community choir. Um, I have a company for uh, the Kittles Sioux Community Choir and it's a group of almost 70 people now and uh, love it. Yeah, it's growing quite a bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Of course we Great fun. So. <laughs> yeah, so this is something that's a passion of yours, obviously, mm -hmm. is teaching yes. piano. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Painted Piano is your company? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Sole proprietor and okay. um, only teacher here, but uh, yeah. Okay, so the only teacher in Souk? Oh, no, the only teacher in this uh, business. There's lots of wonderful teachers in Souk, actually, lots of other um, um, piano teachers, and I think I've connected with most of them in my time here, and uh, we uh, have kind of a uh, for family. students to one another. Yeah, exactly. It's a family of uh, teachers, so. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, as far as uh, in the community, uh, well, let's see, how did you get to uh, coming to being a piano teacher and then coming into Souk? Um, well, I, out of high school, I, you know, as most people are, struggle with deciding what to study. I um, had a passion for music and said, well, I'll try it. I'll pursue it. And I, I um, did a bachelor's degree and finished that and I said I really really love this wasn't quite sure what I wanted to, to do with it so I continued and did a master's degree and uh, when I was finished with that I, I did what so many music students do or uh, you know professionals do they dive into um, any performing opportunities they can and teaching and so yeah it was something that kind of found me I tried my hand at it and loved it and I've, I've stuck with it and it's been almost 20 years now yeah, and I, I don't foresee any changes. It's definitely what I'll be doing, probably long past traditional retirement. I think I'll be. Uh, and you can, which is wonderful. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, not, it's not too strenuous on the body. Or That's anything right. Like that. It keeps the, the gray matter moving and <laughs> and um, and keeps the connection to people. Um, you know that I, I hope that that connection will remain right till my uh, last breath. Right. So. Yeah, because when you're with uh, Bruce at the choir, I know he's like, uh, you know, I mean, you got to be like on. With yeah, like exactly. Yeah. He's talking about, and you got to be communicating and talking. And that's right. Words. What measure, what uh, beat, what uh, um, detail he's trying to work on, and yeah, it's uh, you can tell if 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 uh, I'm not <laughs> totally with it in that moment. It's like, oops, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like everybody, and like you're yeah. you're human, yeah, but, uh, yeah. 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 Nice. Um, what are some of the other things that you um, uh, see? in the community is like you wanting to said you wanted to give back? Um, yeah, uh, last year I started um, taking a, a lot of my uh, piano students to Air Manor, and, uh, which is the local uh, seniors' homes, I'm sure most people know, and uh, performing for them there. So we did a series of, of short, 40, 45 minute recitals for the seniors there, and they were very well received. So we're going back uh, again. And we're gonna go in um, uh, January and in March and in May. Uh, next year to uh, perform for them and uh, they seem really keen to have us there because it's they said they get a lot of, of adult performers but not so many children so um, so they are uh, I think probably inspired by that energy that comes in right so I, that's the only way I can explain it is that when they hear the music it just gives them the chance to kind of like uh, be with in, in the music it calms things down yeah. and they can kind of they hum along. And, uh, hum along yeah the, with, the, with the tunes that they know they hum along that connection to um, you know wherever they knew that music from. So yeah, it's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. yeah, great. So, um, so that's uh, one thing. And yes. then um, 
the studio this, uh, this year is looking to um, support a local um, foundation or charity that uh, helps to prevent um, drug abuse um, with, uh, uh, with youth. And um, it's a, an issue that's touched my life uh, quite personally. And so if, um, you know, simple things can be done, there's a, a certain um, foundation that's called uh, the Canadian Temperance Foundation. And they give um, uh, lectures for free to youth from the age of 10. Um, and uh, so well, the studio would like to, to support that, that uh, gesture, getting the, uh, the lectures to come. And if you can reach one or two kids, you know, and prevent addiction, I think it's, you know, money very well spent. So. <laughs> yeah, we know that they're nasty things that can yeah. control people's lives and Absolutely. they're very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for doing that. I yeah, appreciate well, you. It's, it's a small thing, but if everybody does something small, it's uh, it's not something small. It's, no. It's yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. True. Great. Um, thanks for sharing about yourself. Thank you. Yeah, You're welcome. Um, that's, I'm pleased, uh, happy to, no problem. Thanks. Yeah, um, if you had a piece of advice to give somebody. Um, from your experience, uh, what would you like to share? Um, I guess probably that um, um, the last thing that you know, maybe not to feel like uh, you know, don't don't feel apathetic. You know, think that your <laughs> your small contribution can make a difference in some way. <clears throat> and if we all um, um, you know take on whatever cause that is personal um, to us. Uh, Found differences in the world. It doesn't always have to be big corporations that make a difference. It can be everyday people in the community. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's great. So obviously uh, don't feel like your contribution is a small contribution. Right. Um, everything that you do, especially with the passion and everything behind it, mm -hmm. can have a strong impact. Not yeah. even here, just anywhere. Exactly. As well. Yeah. Great. That's a great piece of advice. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, who would you like to nominate as a daily um, I definitely want to nominate uh, Nikki Martin and Eshu Martin, um, a couple that uh, probably a lot of people in the community know of already. Uh, uh, Nikki um, runs the local Move This um, dance studio, and uh, she's a person that uh, um, inspires me all the time when I go and see her uh, dance performances and the wonderful work that she does with with. Um, her students and her, her kids, and then of course her wonderful husband Eshu, who I've um, uh, seen in these dance shows um, doing a wonderful theater, but also the work that he does um, with the, I believe it's the local Zen Buddhist uh, community. So, at any rate, yeah, um, um, I would think they would be wonderful candidates. Thank for you this. so much for that. Yeah. So, Nikki and Eshu will get a chance to talk to you. Wonderful. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> also, um, just for being a daily gem, David, the stick in the mud. Oh, okay. Give you a free bacino. Oh, coffee. oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love the stick in the mud. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So, thanks, Kathy. You are a gem. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>